Hello crafty cuties. Today we are going to craft together. We're going to make these wax seal policy envelopes and I am making a few different ephemera uh, pieces for a journal that I am finishing off right here. So you may see a few more videos where I'm just decorating random things. I thought I would bring you along. So I'm going to use policy envelopes, some tags, and the star of the show is actually the wax seal that we are going to use, which is this one right here. It's a mushroom. I think you can tell on camera. I have a few of them because this does take some time to, to make the wax seal. So I want to make a few ahead, but we'll make one together. And I do have one basic video on wax seals if you want to see more about wax seals. But this is actually the wax seal. And um, it is a lot different than a regular wax seal because it is a lot more dimensional. I showed this in a video before, but you can see how much more dimensional it is. And the woman who actually handcrafted this, her shop is Tercy Arts, and she was so nice to give us 15% off using the code Crafty Cuties. So if you want one like this, she has a lot of other designs as well. Feel free to check out her shop. Nonetheless, you can use what you have and what you have on hand. You can do different themes with this and we're just gonna hop right in. So I'm trying to get a little organized here and I've been using this right here to just put my favorite stickers and ephemera things that I want to use like right here right now so that I don't forget to use them up in my current projects. And like I said, we are gonna go ahead and start by creating, we'll create one wax seal together um, so I have this little spoon here and I also already cut up some wax that came on a stick like so. I just cut it up because it's easier, I think, to do it in a spoon like this. And then we're going to go ahead and, whoops, melt it just over my candle here. Um, to be honest, if you want to make a ton of wax seals, I highly recommend using a glue gun and then using the wax seal, um, the glue gun wax seal seal. I forget exactly what it's called. Um, that's what I'm going to start using actually for my wax seals because it's just a lot quicker to be honest. And if you just want to make one or two for a project, I think this is fine. Um, and a lot of the kits uh, out there come with everything that you need. Um, there was an awesome kit that I got from Craft Stash that I will have linked below. Um, and while I'm letting this melt, I'll tell you the other items. I'm going to also be using this metallic gilding polish, which I have really been liking for all kinds of different projects I've been using, but I really like how it gives that, um, finished look and it really helps you to see the picture on this dimensional wax seal, I think. Um, so I also got that from Craft Stash, so I'll have that linked below. Um, what else? And then I just have, yeah, a bunch of different little bits and pieces. I have my scraps next to me so we can do, I want to do like a little collage kind of like I did here. Although I could go crazy and like totally decorate this, but I'm going to try not to go too crazy. I don't want it to be too much. Um, and we can decorate the tag as well. Okay. So a few tips because I will be honest when I first got this, um, I, my wax stuck to it a bit and I was like, oh no. Well, I realized that number one, her ring came with instructions, but I messaged her before I noticed that and she was so kind and she said, here, try these tips. And one thing I was doing wrong, I was getting my wax too hot. So if it's bubbling guys, it's too hot. Um, you, and it, sometimes mine will bubble. Then I'll just set it to the side for about 30 seconds and then I will pour it down. And honestly, you really need to do that. So you wanna make sure your wax is not too hot. If you're doing a ton, you can also put your wax seal stamp on some ice, and that's going to just help everything cool off a lot faster. So this is um, melted. So like I said, I'm gonna actually just set this down for just a moment, because I think it works better when it's starting to solidify just a bit. So now when I pour it out, I'm just gonna try to pour straight down because that really helps you get a perfect circle. Not that mine are ever perfect, but it's just, I don't know. I think it definitely helps you get more of a circular shape. And then you're gonna take your wax seal ring. I don't know if people actually wear them, but I think it's so cool. And you're gonna just place it down and you wanna give one like solid push down. That's how I find it to work the best. And then I'm gonna make one more and I'm gonna actually use some red waxing seal 
um, that I got from that craft stash kit I was telling you about and we'll come back up here so I'm gonna let this cool off for a moment and I will work on my next one and then we can start decorating together guys I'm so sorry I thought I was filming and my phone stopped <sighs> so I had already moved on and put my gold gilding on um, so I'll show you I, I have another mushroom one going right now but just for it's the same exact steps I'm gonna use one that I already have I like to let them cool down uh, completely so then what I do is I take my gilding here and there's so much in here I like to take a little paintbrush but you can use your finger as well and I just kind of like to take it like at almost uh, I guess that would be a 90 degree angle and you just kind of spread it over the raised parts and it's so easy with the mushroom wax seal because um because there's so much of it sticking up and then um yeah i don't know sometimes i honestly just dip in and use my finger and then i like to go around the edges too but that's totally up to you you don't have to use that if you don't want to and if you get somewhere it's not supposed to go totally fine so you can see what that does there it just really kind of helps define your um image and so i have these ready to go these are all cooled down so now we can add them to our envelopes sorry i also forgot to mention i am also using a parchment paper because um the wax seals just come up like this and then you can take it off of your stamp and i just like that because it's not sticking to anything so there we go feel free to mix colors too if you see how cool this one looks because i had black in my spoon and then i used red and i think i didn't use quite enough because it accidentally ripped up right there but i think that looks so cool all right guys so get your wax seals done and then you can move on to the envelope now i want mine to just be completely closed like so open at the top so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and start out by I'm just actually going to glue that you can do whatever you want to close yours and then I'm just going to take my scissors here and I'm just gonna cut off a tiny amount at the top just so it's like so and we'll do the tag in a moment all right so let's see I'm gonna pick which wax seal I want I just really like how the black looks but I still like this red even though I accidentally tore off a piece so I'm gonna use that one right there okay before I glue it down though I'm kind of thinking it would be fun to use maybe a little bit of my embroidery floss and make it look like it's holding down um, like it's being held down by my wax seal <laughs> what am I trying to say so I kind of even want like these loose pieces like that so I'm going to do that. So, okay. I know that's all I'm going to do for this portion of it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add glue. You can add, um, what am I trying to say? You, <laughs> sorry guys. You can also add, um, double-sided tape that works really well on the wax seals, just kind of whatever you like to use. And then I'm just going to press that down and hold that for just a moment. Yeah. I like how that looks. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm going to do just some collaging down here but before we get too far I'm going to use my distress oxide in brushed corduroy also got this from craft stash and so I'm just going to ink up the edges here and then something I've been liking is oh, I got to be careful because that's still drying there I've been liking to use this brushed corduroy <laughs> kind of more along the entire envelope here like lightly because I feel like it looks like a real vintage kind of color and then I'll take my walnut stain which is a little bit darker and I just dig in there and go around just the edge I feel like it kind of gives a more aged look like a more natural aged look I don't know anyways okay I spent enough time inking that up now okay so now I'm just gonna kind of do like I would with any collaging and just add a few pieces here and I have these um, mushroom stickers I was thinking about putting some of these in my shop because I have a lot of them but I also have this vintage mushroom book and I was thinking maybe I will use this and cut out one of the images I'm gonna do that so I'm going to 
go through and pick one of the images that I like here. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do is just rip this off. And I'm just, instead of, I could cut around it and then have, you know, a more embellishment type look, but I'm just going to go like this. And then I want to ink around the edges of this because I want to make it look a little bit more vintage than it is. I'm going to keep the words on there. Okay, so I know I want this to be kind of the top layer, so I'm deciding what else I want to add. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to grab a little bit cheesecloth. And I don't want that much. I just want it peeking out a bit. And I want it to be pretty tattered up, I guess. So let's see here. I'm going to put that over on this side. So I've been kind of trying out a glue stick. I don't know why, guys. I've been really liking it using a glue stick. So I'm just going to put a little bit there. It's kind of just fun for collaging, I think. And I want this to just be on there kind of messily. And then a little bit more there. And I could dye this um, cheesecloth, but I think that's all right. So I sort of just like this how it is here. So I'm thinking I kind of want to add a few more little elements to this. So I think I'm going to add this little, I don't know, it's just like a, an ephemera piece, I suppose, from like Tim Holtz. And I'm going to go ahead and use my stapler just because I want a little bit more to it. And I'm going to give two staples there. And that's probably enough. I feel like I could keep going on, but I'm going to save... I'm going to save that for um, the collaged guest checks that I'm wanting to do. And then we can add a ton of elements. But these, like I said, I kind of want to keep... I don't want too much going on down here since we have the wax seal up here. Um, but yeah. So there's this one. I hope that doesn't look too Christmassy with the red and green. But I like that one a lot. So we have these two here. And then the tag. I'm not going to do too much to the tag. But I do have a stamp. And it's like a mushroom stamp. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. I think I'll just use my black here. And as you can see, I'm not even using a wax or a, <laughs> I'm not even using a stamp uh, mounting thing. I'm not able to talk today, am I? So I'm just going to go like this. I don't care if it's perfect. Um, just going to go ahead, stamp that on. That's totally fine. It's not perfect, but I don't care. I don't want too much done to this tag. And then I'm going to use, I have this mushroom washi tape here. And I will just use a little bit right down here. And I think that's just about all I will do. Because I will essentially use this um, tag for journaling. So even though the front is kind of decorated, um, I just want, the, I want it to be flat so that you can journal on the back of this. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to keep it like that. And I think I'll go ahead and switch out um, the string here. And I'm going to use a little bit of seam binding. So I'm just going to cut off a piece here. And I'm literally just going to cut in the middle of my seam binding. I probably should have just taken it out there, but I will. Okay, and then I'm going to string this through here. And then that will look kind of nice when it's peeking through our envelope. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in. And then this will look really nice just going on a page in the journal. Let's do, like I said, let's do one more together because I think you kind of get the point after doing a couple. Um, for this one, I just really like the combo of that color. But I think I'm going to use the purple here. And so, again, I'm going to, this is pretty repetitive, so like I said, I'm going to make a few of these, but I think you guys, I don't know, I think you would get bored if I kept making the same thing over and over. <laughs> okay, for this one, let's see, since I'm not too sure where I want to go, I'll, I'll start with what I do know, which is inking this up. I was thinking it would be fun to grab my stencils 
and I could stencil in a shape on here. So I will do just that. Okay, so I'm gonna have this come up pretty high there. And I'm going to try this wild honey color. Hopefully that will show up. And I am just using the same uh, stamp pad pouncer <laughs> thing for all of these colors, but it's definitely a little bit nicer when you change out the stamp pads because then your colors are just a little bit more clear. But that's okay. Okay. I am a messy crafter, that's for sure. Let's see. I hope this shows up. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, definitely liking that. That looks great. I like how the color is not like too obvious, but okay. So like I said, I know I want that there. So I'm just going to start by gluing it. Although I have this um, vintage cigarette seal, I think. That might be kind of fun. I don't know. Let's just do it. I need to use these things up, you know, so it's kind of like I might as well. And then we'll go ahead and glue this down. I really like just having the wax seals um, ready to go, already ready for your crafts. I was thinking about um, adding some in my shop already created, so I don't know. If, if I don't have them by now, I guess let me know if that's something you guys would like. I don't know if you would buy, want to buy wax seals that were already made up, but let me know. Okay, so... Hmm. I think for this one, we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use, I just love using this collage paper here, which is a nice texture. So I'm kind of wanting, hmm, what else do I want? Some kind of graph paper. Okay, I have this piece of some ledger paper here, so I'm thinking I will just kind of Go like that, maybe. Maybe we'll put that there. That there. I mean, this is kind of a lot, huh? But that's okay. So, it would be fun to sew all of these elements together, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, I have this really awesome um, ribbon, and I've actually used it quite a bit in the journal that I'm putting this in, so I think it might be... Yeah, this is a lot going on so maybe I don't know guys I'm going a little crazy here okay I just feel like I had too much going on there so what I'm gonna do is just take it back a notch not try to overdo it okay so I'm gonna take some of this white lace I feel like there's just too many colors going on I want that to be hanging off the edge and I'm going to just real quick staple that in place just so I know it's there okay I really do want to use the collage paper, but maybe have it right here. And I don't know if I was really needing this. No. Okay, so I'm just gonna staple these in place. Okay. It's a lot of staples, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna glue this entire little thing down. I guess I could have grabbed the uh, glue stick since I was wanting to use that, but that's okay. And then this is a sticker, so I'll go ahead and peel this off here. If I can get it. And this will just go a little bit over here. Kind of holding everything together. Like it kind of blends in there, but you can tell that it is mushroom themed. So there we go. And then we're going to need a tag for this one. All right. So then I'm just going to just use what leftover ink I have. Just kind of go like that. Then I think I'm going to just put this stencil actually right over. And then I'm not really going to do anything else to this tag. And I'm just not doing this very good, but... That's totally fine right there. And I think I'll go ahead and keep this on because I think we have enough going on for this one. So there we go. I like having that hang over. So there is that one. I went ahead and just made one more off camera. So here is that one. And I mean, just I just love this wax seal so much. I know I've been trying a lot of actual products with you guys 
and sharing a lot of shops but I really would love for you if you like this wax seal stamp as much as I do go check out her shop like I said she has other designs as well and you can get 15% off using crafty cuties that was so nice of her to share a coupon code with us so I had so much fun making these and hopefully you will give them a try if you are needing a fun project to do and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys